Could a superbug in Los Angeles become the next big medical scare? Well, two patients have died, seven have been infected, and around 180 others exposed to the deadly bacteria CRE at the Ronald Reagan Medical Center of UCLA. This bug is so strong, antibiotics rarely work on it, and the ones that do have very serious side effects. The CDC said around half the people who develop CRE in hospital will actually die. And what's really alarming about this is that the infection was caused by an instrument used in endoscopic procedures, which is the tube with the camera on the end that's inserted into your small intestine just to examine and check for problems. So some of the people going in are not even necessarily ill. Now this instrument is nearly impossible to completely sterilize. And so that's why the bacteria was spread among patients. Dale Tate from the UCLA Medical Center said, quote, we notified all patients who had this type of procedure and we were using seven different scopes. Only two of them were found to be infected. In an abundance of caution, we notified everybody. Great abundance of caution there. This is just another example of how the medical industry is causing havoc because of improper procedures. I mean, first we had the Ebola situation in Texas where the nurses weren't properly trained and Ebola spread. Mm -hmm. And now we've got this in Los Angeles and apparently this is even more dangerous in the US than Ebola. Can we even trust our hospitals these days? I think so. I wouldn't be that quick to compare it to Ebola yet. If we look at the two people who have died, yeah, okay, that's bad. But at the same time, it's only two people, and two people died from coconuts falling on their heads in the <laughs> Philippines last year. It's not like I'm not going to go any near palm trees, you know? There have been outbreaks in other cities. It's not just Los Angeles, but they're saying that if you contract this, there's a 40 to 50% chance that you're going to die. Now, my mother has had this examination with this instrument. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actually a very common thing. And now yeah. that I understand a bit more about it, that it's impossible to clean, they're saying that because the instrument costs $100,000 each, they don't want to throw it away, obviously, after each use, but it's actually impossible to completely sterilize. Now I know a bit more about it. I wouldn't want a family member to go in and, and, and use this, and I wouldn't myself. Would, would you? No, totally not. And that's, that's kind of what's messed up here, right? The fact that it's an expensive piece of equipment, so they're probably not going to get rid of it. Maybe if thousands of people started to die, maybe they would think about it. But for now, it's, it's cool. We'll, we'll keep it around because it's really expensive and I can't return it. Someone's life is worth more than $100,000. Yeah, definitely. What really bothers me about this, though, is actually the quote from UCLA Medical Center where she says, we notified people and over only two of seven scopes were infected and they called it an abundance of caution. They that notified is, people. Yeah, two of seven. Yeah, that's it's pretty bad. Notifying people is hardly an abundance of caution here. Do you think this is a case of the hurry to advance medical technology and the money involved and therefore the overlooking of risks? I think it would be easy to make that point. Why? But at the same time, I'm going to stick with what I originally said. It's only been two people. We need to wait. We need to see. But it very well could be. Who knows? But at this point, I think it's too early. And it, it, it raises a lot of good points, right? about about their their uh, protocol and all of those things and they're clearly dropping the ball though you can't deny that hospitals need to improve their infection control and their day-to-day -day practices as far as i'm concerned what do you think at home can you trust your hospitals today let us know in the comments below and subscribe and keep watching the lip tv